How are you today? I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to Kampala, Uganda. As the MC has already mentioned, this is the Pearl of Africa. And without a doubt, it's one of the most beautiful parts of the continent. So I take this opportunity to welcome you this morning. I'd like to start by thanking the Almighty God who has enabled us to host this conference and who has given each one of you safe journeys from your respective countries to be here with us. Uganda is the birthplace for Ataf. Ataf was born here in the year 2019 at a conference that was presided over by our president, His Excellency Oweri Seveni, in 2009. And recently, in 2019, Ataf was again here to celebrate its 19th, its 10th birthday in 2019. I want to thank Atta for choosing Uganda to be its other home away from South Africa where the headquarters are held and for always asking us to host such important and very strategic conferences like the one we have come for today. Here again in Kampala, we are to put our minds together as the tax administrations to strive and address together the challenge that is beforehand of cross-border mobility of financial assets, which some non-compliant taxpayers are taking advantage of to shift capital from one state to another without detection. But I'm afraid they can no longer succeed with this as long as we choose this path that we have started on of cooperation, of exchange of information, so that we are able to preempt these moves in good time for us to be able to recover the revenues. I want to take this opportunity to thank our brothers from the Global Forum for the great support they have given us in operationalizing the exchange of information between tax administrations. I'm happy to report that as of this morning, I'll be leaving shortly, and I also want to use this opportunity to tender my apologies because I'll not sit throughout the conference. But one of the reasons why, or the main reason why I'll be leaving shortly is to present before cabinet the Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance in Tax Matters Implementation Bill, which lays the foundation or the possibility of getting on the automatic exchange of information. By God's grace, by God's grace, if this bill goes through uh, by July this year, Uganda will be happy to join the automatic exchange of information. And you have already heard from my brother the results that we've been able to achieve even in the current participation where we exchange information, uh, but not automatically. So we look forward to getting on to the higher level. So I want to thank the Global Forum again for the great support that they've given us as Uganda Revenue Authority, but also the tax administrations across the continent of Africa in developing this capacity. I'd like now again to thank the organizers, the joint organize, organizing committee uh, from ATAF, from the Global Forum, and indeed from the Uganda Revenue Authority and all the other support uh, tax administrations who have put together this forum. I therefore would like to wish you a very fruitful uh, conference. I pray that you'll be able to put uh, together the best ideas 
from across the continent this morning as I passed around to say hello to the delegates. I was happy to note the level of representation from across the continent, from 32 African countries coming together for this great cause. I therefore wish you very good deliberations in the next two days of engagement. I hope that you'll get some time to step outside the conference hall and enjoy the beauty of the Pearl of Africa. This is the place, the source of the great river Nile that serves a number of countries in Africa. Get out there and enjoy some of the fresh waters and the fresh fish and the wonderful food of Uganda. I really wish you a great time and stay, but most importantly, I also wish you to come up with great recommendations on how, as the African tax administrations, we can collaborate and work closely so as to liberate our countries from economic dependence. The average tax to GDP ratio for the whole of Africa continent is about 16%. And yet research has shown that there is no country that can vote itself when we are collecting below 18 to 20% of our GDPs. Therefore, the time is now for the African continent to rise, for the tax administration programs to rise, and ensure that we collect at least 20% of our GDP in tax. That way, we will equip our governments with capacity to develop our nations and to take uh, our citizens uh, into a space of self-sufficiency, of economic liberation, and of developing their own uh, homes and well-being. So I wish you the very best, and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I want to tender the apologies of our permanent secretary, secretary to the treasury, is the one who was supposed to be here with us as the chief guest, but he asked me to deliver his apologies, and he also took the liberty of promoting me to his seat. So on his behalf, on behalf of the PSST, I want to officially declare this conference open as I wish you good deliberation. Thank you very much for listening to me. For the Commissioner General, for the ATAP Secretariat, and uh, for the Global Forum Secretariat for well-delivered opening ceremony. Usually in Uganda, at Uganda Revenue Authority, we say Asante Sana, we do it in style, and this is how we do it. Asante Sana! Asante Sana! Asante Tena! Thank you very much. At this juncture, we'll go for a Kodak moment and we'll break off for tea before we go into the technical sessions. And I'm told the exit is right behind me where we'll be getting the Kodak moment before we go for tea. Our distinguished guests, our distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, everybody is invited for the Kodak moment. Each of our distinguished guests and participants is invited for the Kodak moment. You're welcome. <laughs> 